Oh, you got me. Oh, you scared me. I thought one blew up on me. There you go. You look how fat he is. On the spook. How long has it been since you caught a fish? About a month and a half. First fish, month and a half. My leg is so bad. How did I call that, dude? How did I call that? Oh, shit, I almost. <laughs> Small, but oh, they're in there. All right, tell me how I called that. I, I said my leg weird. itches. I said my leg <laughs> itches. I'm about to catch one, and then I literally hooked him right when I said that. <laughs> there, guys. Second topwater fish. Summertime topwater bassin. Let's get some more. What was funny is I was like. My leg was itching really bad, but I was like, I gotta keep working my spook. And then I was like, I'm about to catch one. And right when I said that, he hit it. That was pretty funny. All right, guys, here out on Lanier with Weston. I really didn't start a intro to this video, so I'm gonna do it now. But we're catching fish on top water today. We, were, we came out here for a morning bite. We met up at 5.30. Now we're out here on Lake Lanier. I, I'm not even kidding, I haven't seen one boat. Like, we haven't seen one boat out here. But it's actually Weston's last day in town, he's about to move to Florida. Moving to so Florida. I told him, I'm like, we're gonna go early in the morning. We're gonna go catch some fish. I gotta go drop off my truck at 12. So that's why we came so early. But um, yeah, but let's go ahead, continue on with this video. Damn Weston it. right there. Dude, they're everywhere. Hold on, I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> something hit my back or something. Uh -oh. Uh, is he on? I was just kidding. No, I was just kidding. I was, I was like, I felt some, I felt some weight on my line. Wait, what? Oh, that's. A, oh, oh, I no thought you there. still had the top water on. <laughs> I was like, wait, is he still on, dude? <laughs> Literally, what's the chances of me going to shut off the camera? And I had my pole; it was kind of tight, and it felt. I felt like I had weight. I felt like I might have a fish on. Anyway, dong dong dong. You got another jig pole on? Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh my! Holy sh! What? Dude. <laughs> Day. You get him? You got him? <laughs> Throw in there, Weston. This is a good oh, one. Oh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> my underwater. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, he's a good one. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's a good one, dude. Look how fat he I is. I see it. Want to put him in the live hole? Yeah. So we catch some good ones and take a cool picture. Dang, dude, he hit it right when I... Oh, well, that's a slon stonky, dude. Jump three feet out of the water. Wait, right now? No, <laughs> you're fish. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. Third fish. And since I... What was I even going to say, dude? I don't know. Look at him, school behind you, school behind you, school behind you, throw in there. Let's see if we can get a double up. But, guys, I want to throw this guy on the live wall. He's pretty fat. It's actually Weston's last day of fishing, so we're going to try to get a cool picture going, so... Pretty solid fish. Let's see if we catch some more. All right, guys. So this is like a legit tip. Um, if you're topwater fishing or if you're just fishing in general, say there's a lot of bait in the area. We've been fishing this spot for about 30 minutes now. Um, we've caught three fish. It's kind of stopped. The activity slowed down, but we know there's bait here. One thing to do is actually crank up, crank up your boat. <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird, but it's just it is what it is, and it works. So when you take off. Kind of make some ruckus in the water. Just start stirring up the water. What that's gonna do is it kind of stir. Why are you laughing at me? It's gonna stir up the bait, and <laughs> it's gonna stir up the bait. Therefore, the fish are gonna bite. It's gonna make them more active. So seriously, just just start. Why are you laughing at me, man? I'm being serious right now. So stir up the water right before you leave the spot. You can go fish another spot and come back to this. And hopefully, catch some fish. I'm not gonna lie, when I come to this spot, I usually catch one fish. It, it was bad for the longest time. And the last time I caught three here, and now here we got, how many here, three? 
and we can potentially get about 20. I don't even know what I'm saying. What kind of math are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Are we only catch three eventually, 20? What are you no, doing? No, not eventually, potentially. Oh. Potentially we can catch 20 because there's there's a lot of fish here, dude. But I think we should we should fish here and then come back, you know? <laughs> dude, you scared the crap out of me. I couldn't see you because of my glasses. You jumped like, oh my gosh. Like Betty Crocker cooking shrimp. What did you just say? I said, you Who's jumped. Betty Crocker? You don't know who Betty Crocker is? Dude, come on, tell me you watch Spongebob, bro. I don't even think Spongebob's in Betty. Spongebob? I don't even think Betty Crocker's in Spongebob. <laughs> Betty Crocker, right, is a cook. And, no, you know what I'm saying? They, I, like got, I, got, I literally have I to add all this. I, I actually I have to. What I got to do when I leave is I'm going to do donuts. Hey, this is a secret. Hey, don't tell me. When I leave, I'm going to hit about 70 going that way, all right? We're going to jack the steering wheel as hard as we can. We're start doing donuts. We need to do a burnout, too. And listen, what it do is it make... What it do is stir up the water and stir up the bait fish. And then they'll start biting. You think I'm kidding, dude? I believe you. I I'm kidding about the 70 miles an hour drifting and drag racing crap. It's all good, dude. Pallets, By like, parallel can. to the pallets. Yeah, I'm not. No, there's there's no way I could be in the way. Dude, they want to, neighbors want to tow my car because I'm apparently in the way now. Which I one? I parked as close to the cur curb as I can. Which one? Oh my lord. What? I, you don't even want to know. Who is it? <laughs> no, I just screwed myself, dude. Freaking pole right here. What is this thing, bro? Wes and I'm screwed, dude. We're just all screwed up right now, and my phone's ringing. We've got like nine months chilling. Look at this, Weston. I, I literally swung the jig around. Look. <laughs> and I'm screwed. Okay. Like, I feel like it's gonna be so wild that it might honestly be pretty down. That's not even gonna be one, it's gonna be eight. Hold on, I hold barely on. got him, bro. I barely I'm getting got the net. Him. I'm getting the net. Get over. It's a big, large one. Oh my god. Oh. Dude! Dude, what? Brother, 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 brother. How brother, deep brother. you caught a large now? Oh, dude, oh, I hooked myself too. Good, good, good. <laughs> Alright, you want me to get it? Dang, dude. I can't believe you caught a large mouth out deep. It's a good fish, dude. Woo! Topwater spook. I cannot believe you caught that out deep. Put it in the left hand side. A large mouth out deep, dude. On a spook. That, that's so crazy. Stop. All right, just grab it. All right, I got no, you. No, you're going to freaking do something stupid. Just grab it. I'm serious. Just Weston, grab it. Dude. I will kill right, just you. Just grab it. Weston, stop. Just grab it, please. I'm in a cluster right now. I just want to fish. We don't have that much longer for top water. <laughs> stop. Took you long enough, right? All right, we're about to end it all. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you really just do that? Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you bum. I was really about to say we, we gotta end this off. Now turn around your butt naked. Alright guys, ended off the day. We've been out here for just like two hours. But I gotta go take my truck to all South Thaft. I have to have some stuff done and get my speedometer checked and everything. But we have two fish in the live well right now. Weston's got one, I got one. And we're actually going to get a thumbnail with it, but let's, let's see what we got going.
Guys, these VT2s keep these fish so healthy. I'm not just saying, they really do keep, keep these fish healthy. They're so hyper, so wild. God, it's just crazy. Here are the two fish. Nice spot, nice large mouth. We're gonna go ahead and get a thumbnail. Catch back up with you guys in a minute. All right, cool. All right, guys. Here's the two fish that we kept in a live well. That's a good large mouth right there. I'm surprised that was in 50 foot on top water, a large mouth. And that's rare on Lanier, guys. I know you guys are probably thinking a large mouth. That's just a large mouth. Lanier, you really don't catch that many large mouths, especially down south, especially out deep. But here you go, guys. Two fish that we kept in a live well. Caught five all day, but it's only been a few hours, so let's release them. Wait, you, you want to get a snap real quick? Yeah. All right, guys. Ending off today's video. Sorry if it's a little bit windy out right now, but. I'm gonna go over what I was using. So I was using a bone white spook on 50 pound braid, and I have an Akuma Helios, and an Akuma, Akuma Helios reel, and an Akuma Helios rod. The rod is actually seven foot heavy power. It's a great rod, especially for this top water. I know heavy sounds a little, little weird, but for this rod, it has a good bit of tip. It's perfect for that top water. So that's what I was using, guys. I'm gonna take my car, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these top water videos, please hit the thumbs up button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.